Hello everyone and welcome to Lucas's Gym Challenge episode 27. This is Lucas's 8th attempt against the Psychic Types. And um, yeah, Lucas is struggling with this team just like he's been struggling with the normal types. Not a major problem though because I absolutely like bas love battling against any of my friends really. And just seeing them struggle against one of my teams is kind of amusing in a way. Um... So, yeah, I would love to see them do well, but i also like to see them struggle. Because um, you don't really feel any accomplishment if you beat all the teams in one go. Anyway, let's get right into this battle. So, as you may have noticed by the um, battle menu, I did lead off with my Alakazam. Uh, which is, personally to me, my best Pokemon. Probably not most valuable but it's my best in my opinion and I just mega evolve it right off the bat the reason why I let off my mega this time is because I wanted to just show to Lucas that yeah it's my mega and I'm not afraid to send it out first as some, one of my future teams requires me to send it out first anyway well Shadow Ball as you just saw one shot of the Gengar and next is Volcarona. This Volcarona is probably the most threatening Pokemon on his team. So obviously I was a bit scared. Psychic doesn't do um, doesn't do as much as I want it to do. But gets it in a range where the Citrus Berry won't save it from another one. Bug Buzz comes in though and unfortunately KOs the Alakazam. So yeah. Defenses aren't great for Alakazam but it's alright. I got Starmie. My most valuable Pokemon on the team. I go with Scold, and I think we know the story from here. Next is Blastoise this time, and I personally think that is Luke's best option against my Starmie, as um, the other Pokemon just get one shot rather quickly, uh, or Dragonite, but. You can you kind of get lucky a few times when it comes to Thunderbolt. I go my Shattered Cyclist move this time as um, I don't want to use it on any other Pokemon. And um, Dragonite seems to have a reputation for taking Shattered Cyclist very well. The, Shatter, the Z move does as much damage as I want it to do for once. So it's great. Earthquake does just under half damage to me. And I just finish it off with a quick Thunderbolt, and that is all Blastoise can do. Next is Incineroar. Uh, yes again, another Intimidate. And yes again, doesn't really affect my Sami as I'm a special attacker. So yeah. Skulls, um, hits the Incineroar, and yes again, one shots it. This is the first time in a row this happened. I'm a bit curious why it didn't one-shot the previous time, but I think it just depends on the high roll and low rolls there. Next is Dragonite, and I go with Ice Beam. And that does half health, which is good. He goes with Thunderbolt, and that will KO my stun. So, uh, and it was a crit. Okay. Uh, Dragonite is clearly the most valuable Pokemon against the Stami. I go with Espeon next, and I just go with Dazzling Beam to finish it off. Next is Magmortar. Oh, final, finally is Magmortar. I go Psychic as my strongest move, and it's boosted on my item with Twisted Spoon, and does around three quarters worth of damage. Earthquake comes in, let's switch out that brightness. Does just under half. I go with another psychic and finish off finish off Magnolia, thus ending the battle. So from what it looks like here, it looks like that my psychic types are making very quick work of Lucas, which unfortunately they are. I'm hoping Lucas can make a comeback. Um and uh if he does, hopefully he'll win in style. Anyway, that's all for this time. 
If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press that little notification bell down in the corner below. Join me in the next video where Lucas will be battling against Psychic Types for the ninth time in battle number 28, I believe. Till then, peace out.